Hey everybody, welcome back to Airsoftology Mondays, the show that answers your questions, helps you out in a pinch, and is also running all around the globe. I'm your host, Jonathan Higgs. That's right, I was in California, now I'm in, I was in Portland, now I am back in Taipei, Taiwan. I am all over the place, and by the way, since I'm back here, if there's a place you want me to visit, to go look at some things and see some things, and yes, I already have a few super cool things planned for you, some very exclusive things. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm very curious if you have, you have like a, a place you wanna go visit or see or whatever. Anyway, if this is your first time here on The Monday Show, it is super simple how it works. All you do is put your question in the comment box below and vote up your favorites. I do dig deep in the questions every single week. And also I take your recommendations for the video of the week, which is later on in the show. It's toward the end where I highlight a video from another Airsoft channel or something that's kind of related to what we do and talk about it. But enough about all that going on with that. Also, I do want to talk about something else. I do have my web store going right over here in the corner. If you guys are interested in supporting the show and getting some cool stuff in return, I've got patches, swag, all kinds of neat stuff up there that you can pick up. Also, I've got a Patreon going, uh, like everybody else does, where you can get some behind the scenes access and some really cool things, including some exclusive stuff you can only pick up as a Patreon supporter. And of course, the links are up there. And as always, they're down in the comment section below, my comment box, my description box down there for that. So enough about all that. Let's dive on into what you are really here for, and that is your questions in the Tipman mail call. Dalton Andershank writes, Hey Jonathan, I've been wondering what your opinion was on real steel gun owners who bash Airsoft and its players. Tell us to get a real gun and insult Milson players. I don't appreciate it, but what are your thoughts? You know, this is something that I've had happen for quite a while. You see it in the comment section a lot. You see people jump in there and say, get a real gun or don't play your soft. But I mean, come on, it's a hobby. And like any hobby you're gonna have, you're gonna have haters. I mean, whether it's a, uh, something you do for fun or anything like that, you look at people who live action role play and people will make fun of them. You look at people who play tabletop gaming, they'll make fun of them. You look at people who play golf for a living and there are people that make fun of them. I think it is inherent to everything we do. I think a lot of the real steel gun owners don't realize that this isn't because, and at least in the United States case, we can't get a gun or whatever. It's just because it's a lot of fun. I enjoy going out and hanging out with my friends and shooting each other with plastic BBs all day long and then coming and hanging out afterwards again. I, you know, I guess they just never experienced it. In fact, I've kind of converted quite a few guys that have had a little bit of this opinion going, oh, it's just a, you know, a little hobby or whatever for younger people or whatever. And then you get out and you play it one time and they're like, it's amazing. You can just see after like one game, their minds just totally shift and go, wait a minute, this is airsoft? I had no idea it was this much fun. Wait, you can shoot somebody else and you can do all kinds of cool things. Uh, and the, the guns look so real and it's a whole lot less expensive than going to the range and shooting paper. Now, don't get me wrong, I am an avid real steel shooter as well, so I go out and I shoot as well. You know, I, I, I have quite a few guns myself and enjoy it, uh, but you know, there's just something fun. It's the camaraderie and all that, and a whole lot cheaper, like they said, than going to the range day. So that's just my opinion. I think the people that hate just don't understand, or they're just kind of trolling or whatever, and there's some people that no matter what you do, you're never gonna change their mind. They're always gonna be that person on there. I mean, it's the internet, right? Internet is full of hate and full of opinions and full of all kinds of things, and not every opinion matches. So for me, that the haters make the noise, I just ignore them and move on, or just invite them to come out and play one time. Hey, look, man, give it a shot, give it a try. If you don't like it, great. And then you can complain all you want. I actually do appreciate the ones that said, you know, I went out, I tried it, and it sucked, and I hate you guys. Okay, fine. You tried it, and now you've got an opinion, and I love that. But the most loudest I found, or the most loud of them out there, are the ones that have never even tried it, that just kind of watched from afar. So anyway, uh, that's it. But I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on this. This is kind of a hot one. Uh, so what are your thoughts on the the real steel players or the real steel shooters that, that hate on airsoft. Do you kind of have the same opinion that I kind of tossed out there or do you have something totally different? Uh, keep the vulgarity to a minimum. I don't want to start too big of a fight in the comment section below, but I will be down there checking out what you guys are talking about and uh, maybe weighing in a little bit. Ashton Johnner K writes, what's the most practical role for a weekend game and a mill sim game? So you're talking about practical roles being what type of player you're going to be. A sniper, a DMR class, you're gonna be an assaulter, a medic, a support gunner. I mean, there's actually quite a few more after that engineer, some actually allow for that, uh, to play certain roles. Um, I think for a weekend game, just going out and having some fun, it's gonna be the Assaulter class, at least for me. I think it's the most practical because you're gonna have the tools to just about do everything, unlike 
the real world, there's only a slight advantage uh, by using like a DMR and things like that. Playing at most weekend game fields, like just smaller fields, you don't get the huge advantage of the big classes, at least in most places. Some do, some actually do. Like my home field does have some, certain games will allow for like big advantages to run support, like you get a higher FPS and you can shoot full auto where everybody else can't. But most games there are full auto games. So, you know, it's like having a support gun just means a little extra BBs, but you can still run high caps. So there's not that great of an advantage uh, to do it. Maybe a little bit more range because of the higher FPS. And that's about it. And then maybe a gun that's designed to shoot full auto without having to reload as often. So the, it's incremental. It's a small amount, but you look at Milsim and then everything changes. I think in Milsim, because you are up against people who have high, still high round counts and things like that, the sniper roll, while fun, you know, you do need them around. I think it does help in certain situations, but it's probably not the most practical role. Support gunner's fun, but I'll tell you, like two day games, like 40 hours and like sometimes straight, carrying something that big and heavy can be a kind of a regrettable decision. You'd be rethinking your life choices after doing that. So again, I think the assaulter class is probably the best, or for me, I really enjoy playing medic. Um, I kind of like the challenge of sneaking up and, and getting that guy revived or, or taking those big risks, but still having a rifle and being able to actually compete and go and do those things and be a part of the team. And I like kind of the supporting role in that aspect of medic. But I think, you know, from a, a practical role, assaulter probably for both is the best way to go, my thoughts. But again, that's just my opinion on things. As always, this is an opinion show. It's just kind of what I'm telling you guys. I want to know what you guys think. Do you think maybe support gunner is the better way? Because in a Milsim event, now when everybody else is shooting semi, you've got 2,500 rounds in a box mag and you can go full auto. I mean, that's a massive advantage out there. Or in the world of semi-auto DMR, now you can have extra power, extra FPS, uh, usually 50 or sometimes even 100 FPS higher than the assaulter rolls. And you can shoot semi just like them is kind of cool too, because that gives you a massive advantage. And sure, you've got to switch to a sidearm when they get close, but man, you can really reach out. So there are some advantages there, but I still think Assaulter is the best way to go. But again, that's my opinion. I want to know what you guys think down below too. Chin Chin writes, my AK-47 broke down one week after I got it repaired. The store I bought it from wouldn't tell me what was wrong. They actually said I didn't know anything about airsoft guns and that it was my fault it broke. I've been playing for airsoft for five years and have four other full metal AEG rifles that I've been taking care of since day one, even repaired one myself. And this store said I know nothing. I don't know if I should ask for another repair or get my money back. Actually, I'm kind of disappointed in the shop. I, I don't want to know who it is. I appreciate you not putting who it is in here, but if they're calling you pretty much stupid and all that and not even telling you what broke, either one, they're incompetent, they don't know what they're doing, or two, they're just rude. I mean, absolutely rude. So it's either bad customer service or no skill at all. So I, I would kind of second guess this shop. If you have another shop in the area, maybe take it to them. I know it means you've got to eat a little cost to have it re-repaired. Maybe they'll evaluate it for you to give you an idea, like kind of a quick, okay, hey, here's what it is. Or just have a talk with the shop and say, look guys, I just got this. It just broke. You know, uh, there's got to be a shop warranty. Uh, most airsoft shops I know put like a 30 day warranty on their tech work. Now there is the chance that they could fix one thing, like let's say do an upgrade over here and then another part breaks that is calming it. There's no way around it. But I, I, again, we don't know how long the AK-47 you had. If it was super old, you know, maybe they put a new motor in it and a few other things and then a gear broke or a piston broke, which could happen, but Still, the bottom line here is they say they won't tell you what's wrong with it, and then they kind of call you, you know, an idiot and the same thing. I'm not sure if I would continue shopping there. I am all about supporting local. I do. I think the, the local airsoft shop, no matter where you live, is important. I mean, supporting the local shops and supporting the big guys, too. I know some people are, are anti that. But I think all that's important for us to keep the hobby going. But, man, if a shop's going to be like this, vote with your wallet, man, and head somewhere else. All right, guys, that is it for questions this week, which means it is time for the Code Red Headsets video recommendation of the week. And this one, boy, you guys went in and you can see them popping up here on the screen, all out on the recommendations for this video of Laxoft. I don't know if you went on a big marketing campaign or what, but boy, you guys came out in droves. In fact, not just this video, but previous videos too. I did recommend some other people because we had some guests on the show in the past episode, but this is one I've been holding back. And again, every single week I'm seeing different people do it. Uh, so without any further ado, I'm gonna introduce you guys to Laxoft, a South Florida Airsoft player as well, 
just like another channel I recommended not too long ago, a few episodes. In fact, if you guys want to go back and check that one out, we can do it. But Microsoft is doing some gameplay down there and actually has some fun stuff. I picked this one out. It's their ARP9 video, and he just released one where he had an umbrella gun and broke it. And that one actually just dropped at the time of filming for this video, so that one's probably worth a click as well. So if you guys want to like enjoy some good gameplay, it was entertaining. I liked it enough again, like it's always for me to match that sub button, which is, you know, usually it's my kind of like barometer. I mean, you can get recommendations and I've watched a bunch of videos and I'm like, uh, you know, it's just kind of whatever. But if there's a little bit of effort, just a little effort in there, and it's something I want to continue watching and I see a lot of promise, I'm definitely going to click the button. But again, don't let my opinion sway you. I mean, sometimes I don't click and you guys do too. We all have different things we like. However, Laxoft is one on the list that I think is definitely worth watching and there could be a lot of great videos in the future from this channel. Right now, the sub counts at like 470, so I'm going to see those numbers start to tick up quickly. Anyway, if you guys want to check it out, as always, I have a link in the description below so you guys can click on it, watch the video, and if you do like it, hit the sub button over there in his channel and then let him know I sent you. Well, guys, and gals, that is it again for this week. And as always, I remember, I tell you over this week, thank you for hanging out, being so cool in the comment section and helping each other out down there. I really encourage good discussion and answering questions. I know you guys ask me these questions and you do want to hear from me and I do want to answer you on all, every single one I possibly can, but I also appreciate the fact that you are down there as a community, kind of like our own little private group and helping each other out. Again, if also if you want to support the channel, I have Patreon and I've got a web store with some cool stuff you can purchase over there that does help support the show and the channel and all that and keep things going and you get some cool patches, morale patches and swag in return for it. Like I said, those links are down in the description below as well. But until next week, go out, play some airsoft, have some fun, but no matter what you do, call your freaking hits.